In this reaction, we shall see how to prepare alkanes from alcohols by their reduction. Our first option is that, for example, we have this alcohol. This carbon is bonded to this hydroxyl group and this methyl group and one hydrogen atom. Our one method is that we have to dehydrate it, remove a water molecule this hydroxyl group and one of the hydrogen atoms here so that a water molecule is removed that can be done in the presence of a strong acid like H2SO4 and heat so that we shall get an alkene you know a double bond will be introduced here and afterwards after the dehydration what we can do removal of after removal of water we can hydrogenate this alkene using h2 in some catalyst in the presence of catalyst like palladium platinum or whatever we have studies studied the mechanism of hydrogenation so i shall simply write here that this double bond will be converted into a single bond and we shall get an alkane from dehydration followed by hydrogenation of alcohols however this method is not very common for preparation of alkanes because we have to carry out two reactions and also not very favorable similarly another reaction for converting your alcohols into alkanes or preparing alcohols uh, pre preparing alkanes from alcohol is reduction using li lithium aluminium hydride so it is another also a bit complicated reaction and not very commonly used for preparation of alkanes however we, will, we shall see how to reduce alcohols using lithium aluminium hydride let's suppose we do have an alcohol let's say this is if we are going to use uh, use lithium aluminium hydride on this it will be difficult for us to remove this methyl or this hydrogen or this hydroxyl group using LiLH4 or lithium aluminium hydride because all the three are poor leaving groups no none of the anions if we remove from this molecule are not easily removable this hydroxyl group is not easily removable because it is a poor leaving group it will not leave uh, and this alcohol unless we use some other indirect method so in order to introduce an hydrogen uh, atom here we have to remove this group this hydroxyl is to be removed for this reduction so that it will be reduced to an alkane but how to do is it is a complicated issue so in order to make a good leaving group here we shall react this alcohol with uh, paratoline sulfonyl chloride which can be written as This is para toluene sulfonyl dichloride and sulfonyl chloride because here is the chloride atom. This sulfur is bonded to this toluene, and this toluene in this benzene has a 
methyl group and at its para position therefore it is para toluene sulfonyl chloride or it is also written as TOS CL as short however because we have to see its mechanism so I am writing it in full form so you can understand how it is written and what is going on the reaction takes place in presence of pyridine which is a weak base what happens in the next stage is that that this high oxygen Tax this sulfur atom and the chlorine is removed. And what we have, we have and this oxygen will get a positive charge because it is bonded to three atoms now this weak base pyridine will come in action here and it will remove this hydrogen this and what do we have then now this is a very good leaving group this is a generally a very inorganic chemistry this TUSCL or para toluene sulfonyl chloride is used as a good leaving group very good leaving group and now what we had to do we had to remove this hydroxyl group from this atom our initial molecule so that we can end up in an um, alkane so in order to make alkane out of it what do we need is that we need or and instead of this hydroxyl we need only a hydrogen atom so this will be an alkane out of this alcohol but the root is this one so this is a living good living group in order to remove this good living group this good living group you know this good living group we have to have a good nucleophile a strong nucleophile to knock 
this living room out of this so what will happen we shall introduce our strong reducing agent lithium aluminium hydride which is like this aluminium bonded to four hydrogen atoms and gets a negative charge which is balanced by lithium metal which carries a positive charge as we all know that hydrogen atom as you all know that hydrogen atom is more nucleophilic more electrophilic than aluminium therefore this negative charge in this bond is that all these hydrogen atoms uh, have a partial negative charge this negative charge of aluminium is divided into these hydrogen atoms in all the polar in all the bonds so these negatively charged hydride ions one of them can attack this carbon carbon and because due to presence of this good living group this will leave how it will happen let's see This negatively charged hydride atom will tag here, and this carbon, this one, due to there, and it will wrap it up itself to leave. The reaction will be uh, SN2 mechanism, right? It will leave from the other side. Uh, tetrahedral complex will be made so what do we have this hydrogen atom will be added here and this group will leave because it is a good accommodator of the negative charge because it can resonate on this sulfur on this oxygen on this oxygen and then the benzene ring because therefore it is a very good living group and the reaction is very much possible and this is what we were actually striving for to get this alkene out of this alcohol and what we also written here that this is our ultimate goal so we do have an alkene from alcohol but it is a lengthy process and again it is not commonly used but for learning we saw how to reduce alcohols into alkenes